I have been looking forward to this one a long time. Mostly because I have two modding mates who are involved in this development. If you have been watching the Scandinavian Front content on this channel, one of the guys who helped make us the amazing terrain for that mod is also involved in this modification. So that is how I am right now playing this about 5 minutes after its release on Steam. The game is announced as a submarine simulator, basically like the old Red Storm Rising and Dangerous Waters game, and I haven't played any of them. What I do however know is that they once released the amazing game Atlantic Fleet. So it's going to be very interesting to take a uh, gander at this game, and maybe, just maybe, we get to torpedo a whale. So, I have basically zero confidence in my abilities to pilot the submarine at this point. So we're gonna go for training, and then we're gonna see if we can make an attack on the Belgrano. What? Ah, uh, seems like they didn't listen to me about a Belgrano mission then, but I, I can live with that. So, let's go for training and see what we can learn. Basic torpedoes, wire-guided torpedoes, missiles, navigation, target motion analysis, sensors and mass tactics and damage. And once I'm done with this, I can probably apply to Swedish submarine school. Okay, so we have been uh, sent to the Sturgeon class submarine USS Seahorse, SSN 669. Let's see what we can do with this thing. We have a new sonar contact bearing 0, designated 01. Depth 45 feet, clear light breeze, heading 0, speed 0. Oh, close to. Oh, maybe we should go battle stations first. Here we have the camera interface, and I have to say the camera is very intuitive. You can check above, you can zoom out, you can zoom in. Yeah, the camera's control are pretty decent. We seem to be pretty close to the surface, which is probably bad news, but hey. Pan camera, yeah, we've already mastered the camera, thank you. Uh, zero will raise the periscope. Oh, there's the periscope. And that's pretty cool. Since we raised the periscope now, we immediately see we have a target in front of us. And we can mark a target with range finding using I. Oh, we had to actually enter periscope view as well. Alright. Con, sonar, contact, master one, classified, alligator. It's not like a battle stations game where you can fire torpedoes in this mode either. They made it a little more interesting than that. I have to say, the ship models are great. Oh, it's loaded with war materials. Better get it over with. Okay, so we will be firing a dumb torpedo for this one, and apparently Shift E turns on an event camera. That's interesting. Um, yeah.
weapon is away. I am not entirely convinced we launched that torpedo in the right direction. If all goes well, your torpedo should head north and strike the target. Yeah, we're missing the target by a mile here. I think we have to do it all over again, actually. Did we launch? Yeah, we launched another torpedo right in the fuck ton of it. This is, this is silly. I think I missed the part about moving my submarine into, you know, the actual firing solution stage. But hey, here we go. Ridiculous. The target should really should be right in front of me, and I doesn't seem to be able to launch a torpedo right at it. Dear Lord, Starry is gonna have a field day with this one. Really glad I started off with the tutorial. The music is kind of awesome too. Why do my torpedoes insist on flying off in the other direction? I swear I am locked on to the fucking target. Alright, let's try something else. Oh, of course. I think I know what's wrong. And if that's the case, we're gonna have really fun with it. Let's see if we can actually can reload the torpedoes in some way. I think we should be able to use one of these to reload in some way, but Yeah, we're out of torpedoes. But I, I really want to learn how to actually reload. But I think we're gonna have to restart this thing. Yeah, we're gonna restart. I'm not going to... To... Um, give up until I can, I can actually sink that ship. So, let's do it all over again. Periscope up. I might actually be doing it far too quickly. Let's see if we can do it better with the other torpedoes. Ah, so there is my problem. Fire now. Yeah, we got a torpedo away in the right direction for once. So it was me fucking up. Let's see if we're actually gonna hit it. I'm not entirely so convinced that's the case.
Kabu. We actually got a hit. I think we're gonna try that again to fire some more torpedoes. Torpedoes in the water. Torpedoes in the water. Yeah, she's sinking. We gotta kill on that one at least. But why leave it half measured? We might as well use her as a training target. Last torpedo is away. Last torpedo is away. The sinking mechanic is actually pretty impressive. And I bet if I switch to underwater view... Yep, we got it. A sinking ship right there. Let's see if we can zoom in on her a bit more. I don't think we can. Or at least I haven't learned how yet. But at least you have to admire the sinking mechanic. I mean... I'm pretty certain that if that thing was falling on me, my submarine would actually die. It wouldn't be like, you know, no hitbox or anything. I'm pretty convinced that would happen. But she's heading for the bottom, so we're good. Okay, so firing wire-guided torpedoes was a bit easier. You just put a waypoint down and the torpedo is away. That's pretty interesting. Once the torpedo has reached the target, it will start tracking. The torpedo is all about halfway to target. We got contact. Constable. Let's see if this torpedo does a better job than the dumb fire ones we used earlier. Maybe this one can actually hit the target. And if it can't, we'll just blame the torpedo. Torpedo is active and homing on the target. Goodbye, Ivan. Of course, doing all this in training is one thing, doing it in all in combat conditions is going to be far worse. Hit! Hit! Switch 
to second weapon, stand by and deploy. Fire. Torpedo is approaching release point. This is really satisfying. Target destroyed. Next one on the map. Third weapon is away. Yeah, we've pretty much got the gist of it, so we're just gonna jump to the next tutorial and use missiles. This is going to be interesting. Especially since this is going to mean that we might actually have to engage a tug on series. If we got the Sturgeon class, doesn't seem to have any missile tubes here, so... Battle stations, battle stations. All hands, manual battle stations. I did not learn how to change weapons on the previous screen, and that is most likely a mistake, probably a mistake by now. Worst case scenario, we have to return to that screen so I can learn about it. Ah, that's how we do it. And apparently, I uh, yeah, reloading takes a bit of time, as you might expect. There we go. And we're turning on time compression so we load quickly. Uh, 
Alright, we got three targets. And apparently this is similar to using the torpedoes. Vampire, vampire. Torpedo casing and rocket casing is off. Cruise missile engaged. I have no idea if we actually hit a target or not, but I think we did. We hit target S2. Switching to missiles, fire at will. The mechanics of this game are actually quite entertaining. And the rocket part has fallen off. Yeah, we got a hit with our first missile. Let's see if we can take down more Russians for the second one. That looks like a hit to me, but I'm not convinced. We don't have any actual... Yeah, we hit target S3 this time around. We have hit every target except the ones we were actually aiming at! Right, third time's the charm, eh? Fire! I don't think our missile is going to strike the right target. Yeah, that's a miss. We ain't sinking their battleship today, lads. Reload! Missile away! Missile away! I'm gonna see about how this game handles launching multiple missiles. So I'm gonna go for a reload of all the tubes and then I'm gonna fire a, a volley. If I can. That is a negative impact. Let's speed the game up a bit and see what we can do about it. Right, let's see if we can fire um, more than one missile. Here we go. Volley away! Volley away! We have to target on visual. Our missiles are tracking. Yeah, and our missiles have all missed the fucking target. Oh, the last one actually hit. Nice. Is 
It seems like it was a, actually quite a good idea for me to start with the tutorials. The stuff is basic, but it takes a bit getting used to. I want to stress that so far I haven't actually t taught myself how to maneuver with the, t with the submarine. I can fire with it, but I can't actually move with it. We'll see if this might actually... Yeah, increase speed to 5 knots and move forward, use time group in the contact is reestablished. Yeah, I seem to have forgotten about everything about how to actually pilot my submarine or command it. Okay, so we have to listen in to her and see if we can actually identify her that way. So we are right now going through all the bio profiles and we're gonna find the console again. We actually passed her over, there we go. Yeah, I don't know if we actually classified her by actually listening in or if we... If it's possible to misidentify. I kinda hope it, it, it is possible to misidentify. Helm. Ahead. One third. Kinda interesting that going faster might actually ruin our shot. Let's see if we can... Yeah, turning the submarine is as easy as you would expect. The WSD buttons. She's constantly turning and I think we might actually only have dump fire torpedoes on board. Yeah, that is actually the case. If that's the Mark 48. I like the missiles, it's all used the missiles. Stand by for missile shot. be able to see the actual missiles on the screen, but that may be because I'm not in periscope mode, I don't know. I get the feeling I need sensor data to be actually be able to see stuff on my map as well. So periscope up. We got the targets. Damn sure if we're gonna hit a row. Just a bit further away than I expected. Target destroyed. Good show, lads.
active sonar online. That sound is very eerie. Nice. The sound design in this game is spot on. I have to say that. The sound design is really spot on. There's nothing I can say about it, so. Active sonar. Offline. We seem to be just below the layer, but we seem we could probably get a bit more. Yeah, we can probably stop our ascension by using X. You contact bearing 2. Designate Sierra 2. We're cavitating! I actually haven't tr learned how to lower my speed yet, and that might actually be a bad thing. Oh, so there we go. Let's see here. Yeah, we're breaking contact. Rather breaking the surface, and we're not breaking the actual contact here. So we're gonna see if, yeah, we can actually set our ballast to 30. I never actually did that. Uh, let's see here, mass depth. Yeah, that didn't work as expected, did it? We're not supposed to surface, you know? I mean, it looks good and all, but we're not supposed to. Might, since we have already scared him, we might as well drop the torpedo. A head flank! This submarine is now a battleship! I haven't actually learned anything from this tutorial yet. be able to launch the missile while at the surface. Oh, there we go. And we launched the missile in entirely the wrong direction. Of course we did. So, time to actually see what we've learned. Ahead, one third. Not 
Noise maker deployed. Let's see, depth is not really 150 feet, but we're close, so let's do it. Yeah, system prepared. Engine room is taking on water, and that's probably not a good thing. Yeah, we're assigning propulsion to that, and hopefully that will get the water out. I don't think I'm doing this right. Yeah, we're sinking. Or... Yeah, let's see here. I was supposed to le left-click propulsion. Uh, to assign damage control to the compartment. That's not even doing anything. So, propulsion... Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing much, really. Ballast is 30, but our submarine was destroyed. Apparently that was, as I can tell, part of the scenario. Alright, so let's actually try something fun. We have found the Moscow, a helicopter carrier, an open ocean air surface war group, including a helicopter carrier. Yeah! I definitely feel this is something we should do. Ahead, one third. We have six torpedoes and an outdated submarine. So it's been just fine. However, we don't have that much advanced stores, so this is going to be the waiting game. I'm gonna speed it up a bit as well. I think we got contacts. We do have some contacts, and I think those are actually enemy sonars listening for us. And the problem we have now is that it's going to be fucking tricky to get close to the enemy and actually doing some damage. We gotta cash in with the Moscow. As I said earlier, the music and sound design in this game is kind of eerie. It's good. But this is really, really eerie. Let's see. Oh, fuck, fuck for cav cavadding. That's not good. Cavadding generates sounds, and that sounds are bad. We got the Moscow, we got the Cashin straight ahead. But I don't think those numbers are actually that... Yeah, we're passing. We have to get ballast down, ballast up. All this is very hard to do if you're using time compression, so... Am I firing that shit, or are they? I'm kinda hoping it's they, and... I'm hoping that's not anti- Oh, wait, it's anti-submarine charges.
I think we got a friend up in front that actually that they are firing on. Let's see if we can to get some hits on the Moscow. Increasing the ballast. Prep for torpedo attack. And in her own track came the wolf pack. And the wolf pack did know a lot more about submarines than I do. Slowing down a bit so we don't give it. Yeah, she's firing. She might actually be firing on us. Of course our first torpedo was a fucking failure. Take that, Moscow! She's actually sinking. We did it! Mission complete. Let's just watch this wonderfully detailed model of a Russian helicopter carrier sinking for a while. Oh, fuck, 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 we're dead. We are so dead. We are very, very dead. I don't think the game actually paused because that's a bear and it's probably delivering a torpedo to kill us right now. Yep, everything's gone. I think we actually, yeah, we got sunk. We sunk them, but they sunk us. So, I think we're actually gonna try a campaign. And then we're gonna call it a day for the moment. North Atlantic 1984 or North Atlantic 1968. I actually think we're gonna go with 1984 because I'm gonna need the the better technology. Got the Los Angeles class submarine US Assault Lake City. SSN 
I swear they took this picture from Strike Fighters 2. Okay, so they have de declared war. That's bad news. Find and sink replenishment tank and tenders. Uh, any warships are to be destroyed. Avoid detections, weapons free. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here if this is just all window dressing or if I'm actually supposed to be able to move my submarine in some manner. Yeah, I think that blue submarine moving is actually me, but I'm not convinced. I don't seem to be able to control it, but I think we're in actually in a battle right now. All that happened was that West Germany got invaded. We're moving into the Atlantic, but we don't seem to be moving towards, you know, the place where we one would think we would actually go, but hey, it's all in how you sell it. Ah, that's how you do it. You move the submarine by moving your mouse button. That was why I was only moving in one direction. So let's move up to the Baron C, see what we can do, try and avoid the bear patrols. And now that when our own aircraft have mission failed because we didn't, didn't get there in time, and that's not good. At least now we know. Let's see here. Within three, time to say within three days, amphibious landing at Trondheim, Norway. Bad weather prevents airstrike and naval officer depending on me. All right, let's help the Norwegians out, shall we? Continue on course. Well, then, Mark surrenders. That's hardly a surprise. Let's see if we can find the enemy. Contact! All hands, ban your battle stations. Let's start with harpoons first. Go ballast up. Uh, it's very shallow waters here and that's not good at all. We need to be able to find the enemy before we can launch our missiles at the guy. I really should just keep two missiles, but... Here's hoping. Slow it down. We got one, one contact. Wait, more contact, more contact. They know we're here. They might have found us. That might be missiles or rather anti submarine rockets, and that's not good. I 
I need to be able to control my deaths. And yeah, we got a cane and detected. Uh, making sure I can control my deaths is going to be the tricky part here. I think that's actually us sinking over there. I'm not actually sure. Nah, it's not us sinking, thank god. But... or is it? Nah, it's not. Tube 2 is inoperable, but we're not actually the ones sinking, thank god for that. This game is a bit tricky, actually. We got hull at 98%. I suspect we might actually have taken a hit there. Depth, go! Missile away! Missile away! They shot down my missile. Damn it. Last missile away. Come on, get to the surface before you shut down. About heading one, one, two. Oh crap, we're dead. Even out. Way it off. Reload missiles, come about. Increase ballast depth and we got an enemy chopper. Let's fire the missile and go. Missile away, missile away. We've been hit. Our only hope to avenge us if this this missile hits the enemy warship. Crash dive! Crash dive! If I have to make one constructive criticism, is that the tutorials didn't actually prepare me for actual... Oh god, we got a torpedo inbound, we're dead. The tutorials didn't actually prepare me for actual combat. They just taught me the mechanics, but not actually how to do anything while in actual combat. 
way off, 350. I may be going down, but I'm taking you with me. Able, not not able to return my camera to my submarine. I wonder why. The cannon has been sunk. Good. Let's load one. Pretty fucked. We're on the actual bottom, and the torpedo just blew us up. I think that's actually the end of this campaign. Apparently, we all got captured. Apparently we're also being tortured, and the UK has been blockaded. Yeah, we pretty much lost the war. We were four days at war, and we only sunk one warship. And very unlikely to survive our captivity too. And here comes the credits. All the awesome people behind this game who will most likely see this video and laugh at my horrible, horrible failure. I can live with that, you know? Oh, there's Nils. He's done a good job with this. Persemgekstark. Oh god, I can't even pronounce his name! He's done such a terrific job with this game. Persemgekstark. Targevich, and I can't pronounce it! Oh god, this is so embarrassing. I hope he quit watching the video before he sees this part. Seriously, this this game has potential. I wish there was a surface part component, but this is going to be my... The game where I torture myself with, because I want to play Redstone Rising. As in, Redstone Rising or having read something about the Falklands that makes me very more, more interested in submarines. And hey, for such a small development team, this is pretty damn good. If you're into submarines, I really ought to, I really ought to say you should check it out. It's Cold Waters on Steam. Check the description for the link. And like I said, I got this game for free, so... And I have mates in the actual development, so... I feel I have to mention that. But this was actually surprising. I pretty much expected a game where I would torpedo a whale, and so far I haven't actually torpedoed a single whale. So, there's that.